саулық айтқан қауымға той басталды ауылда. Осында үлкен кішіде, ағайында, бауырда. I greet you, my dear friends. You're watching Kazakh Live Duster program with Tamara Sar. Today we celebrate Nauru's holiday. Various costumes were held during the celebration of Nauru's holiday. These costumes represent the deep meaning of the holiday. However, many rituals are forgotten presently. Today's guest of our studio will tell about this holiday, its history, as well as its peculiarities in detail. Gulshad Jahan Qaza is the chief of the Department for Ensuring Scientific Enlightenment of the Tradition Center in Shumken City. Welcome to our studio. I congratulate you on this wonderful holiday, Nauru's. Congratulations on our Riz holiday. Let's pass straight to the forgotten costumes of this holiday. Kazakh people know perfectly what Nauru's holiday means, because it's our ancient national holiday. Since this holiday represents all our national values, the national atmosphere, therefore it's clearly known what is the essence of Nauru's holiday. But there are some forgotten moments and customs that are not used today during this holiday celebration. Let us first explain why this holiday is called Nauris, as Olustan Ulukuna. In general, the words Nauris, Olus, are common Turkic words. Mashkur Shusub Kupiola, in his work Bukharsha, wrote the following There was the Kazakh man. His name was Nauruz. He had daughters-in-law who called him Ulukun, Great Day. According to the ancient Kazakh custom, at Tirgil, therefore the Kazakhs call this day Olustan Ulukuna. Presently, people got accustomed to start the celebration of the holiday on the 14th of March. This custom arrived from Western Kazakhstan. I also want to tell about the food that is prepared on the day of Kurisu, called Shiki Asu. Yes, Shiki Asu. The horse meat for this feast is stored during the winter. In the winter, when Sohram was prepared, our grandmothers divided the meat for Shiki into two parts, salted it, covered it with flour and stored in special conditions. Afterwards, when the winter was over, elder women cooked the delicious shikia meat that was stored the whole winter and treated guests who came to greet and hug to find out how they were doing and how they spent their winter. All the delicious parts of meat were cooked in the cauldron, kaza, fat tail, and various delicious meal and spices. Shuzhuk as well. People start to celebrate Nauru's holiday from inviting neighbors to Shikyasu. And all the young people of the village, daughters-in-law, children come to treat themselves with the meat broth. So this rite is considered to be the beginning of the Nauru's holiday. And people continue to conduct various holiday customs. It is this custom which represents the cohesion and unity of people living in the village. Among forgotten traditions, I would like to mention the smudging rite, which is considered to be slightly unacceptable. It was considered to be a wrong right. Yes, exactly. In fact, smudging right reached us from our ancestors. It's one of the rites that people still continue to perform presently. We can say that the Kazakh people do not particularly hold this rite as part of Nauru's celebrations. Our ancestors collected old clothes that were worn while suffering the hardships of fate or some difficult moments dug out a ditch and burned all those clothes on the top of a hill. Yes, they burned clothes. Broken, cracked dishes were also thrown out. Thus, people bid farewell to the hardships of life. They performed this custom on the evening of the 21st day of March. 
Kazakhs have such a belief. Outerwear clothes, fabric, items were not thrown into the hearth. Therefore, each family fell from its hearth, dug a hole and buried those things and clothes there, believing that all the wrong things would go away with those clothes. Thus, the forgotten all negative circumstances in the past and with the beginning of the Kazakh New Year commenced a new path. Yes, you're right. In addition, one of the most beautiful and good rides within Novra's holidays was Akhburku, when fresh green, at the end of the winter, hurls the arrival of spring, as the first green grass pushes its way through at last, when trees start to bloom. Kazakh old women performed this rite Akhburku. Pregnant women sat on the leeward side, and old women sprayed them with milk on the windy side, with the hope that young women would give birth to many children, like a fruitful tree, and all wishes will be fulfilled. If these customs were preserved to this day, and these rituals would be done now, it would be favorable for people, because Kaza people secretly believe in different signs. If everything what we believed in and wished for is fulfilled, it would have a very positive effect on people's lives. Gushat. Now, where is this the holiday of the Kazakh people as well as of all Turkic peoples? Are there any differences and similarities in the celebration of Nowruz among the peoples of Central Asia? Since this is a common holiday of the Turkic peoples, our traditions and the traditions of neighboring peoples, like the Kyrgyz people and Uzbeks, are very similar. For example, our Uzbek brothers, with the help of messengers, with a stick to which a snowdrop is tied, inform the locals about the arrival of spring, entering every house in the village. And in our country, Eagle Owl is considered a harbinger of spring. In some regions of our country, Kazakhs also had these birds and went around all the houses and informed people about the arrival of Nauris. There are a lot of, of such common similarities that Turkic people also have. Also, all Turkic peoples cook Nauris kuje in the large cauldron and treat everyone. Of course, the cooking methods in each country are different, but I'll say that their traditions and taste of Nauris kuje can be compared exactly with the Kazakh Nauris kuje, because smoked meat is added to Nauris kuje the remainder from the winter sohum. There is a great meaning in this. If smoked meat is a symbol of something old, then people imply that all the old things were left behind, and the time for new future comes. There are plenty of food. So they put old meat and fresh meat in a cauldron. Women treated everyone and hoped that people stepped into a new one life. Women treated everyone and hoped that people stepped into new life with the arrival of spring, new year. Gushat, thank you very much. You shared knowledge on important customs. I still want to learn a lot from you. There are still old traditions of Iqashar and Selt Yetkazir. Please, would you be kind to tell us about them? Selt Yetkazir and Iqashar, traditions are connected to very unusual gifts that young people present to each other. In fact, everything that young people do, their intentions and the purpose of gifts are similar to modern ones, but now they are called differently. There is a reason and a meaning of the emergence of Selt Yetkazir traditions. For example, young men grazed cattle waiting for new calves. So that they were awake and did not fall asleep, young women prepared a present. They cooked the dish with bee stings milk called uwas. The young women brought the dish in the early morning, singing songs at the time when young men really wanted to sleep. After men ate this dish, called Uqashar, they continued their work in the field. Young men prepared gifts in advance for the young women, who woke up in the early morning and prepared dish to them. These gifts are called Selkit Kazir. They were handmade mirrors of beautiful calms. These were precious gifts, because they were made by hand. Or they presented a collar from a real fur. Yes, young men presented different amazing and beautiful gifts to young women, and they call this tradition Selkit Kazir. 
And to this day, young people present gifts to each other. It would be nice if this tradition would be called this way. It would be wonderful. I would like to emphasize that Uqashar is prepared with bee stings meal. What else can be added in the cooking process? Meal prepared as Uqashar can be cooked from different grains, but this one is prepared in the spring when there is a spring fresh herd. Colostrum is cooked on low heat and any cereals were added to it, and people call this dish Uqashar. After eating the dish, people don't want to sleep because this dish refreshes a tired man. Many people may not understand what uwes is. Let's discuss it. Bisting's milk is the first milk drawn from an animal, especially a cow, after it has given birth. Its composition is different from simple milk. If it isn't boiled in time, it may turn sour. It was boiled on a low heat. Then milk was added to the dishes. The peculiarity of this drink is that it is rich with vitamins and very nutritious. One of the peculiarities of the Nauris celebration is chanting of Nauris. Blessings, proverbs and sayings about Nauris imply renewed nature and new life. Nauris is celebrated signifying not only the spring equinox, but also renewal of nature. We have another guest in our studio, Rosa Rimbaeva Kwanish Khaza. She is the People's Artist of Kazakhstan, Hero of Labor of Kazakhstan, Holder of Parisat and Kermit Orders. I congratulate you on Nauris holiday, Rosa Kwanish Khaza. Thank you very much for invitation to your program. I often watch your program in my free time. I would like to tell you that Nauris holiday is not only celebrated among the Kazakhs, it's common for all the Central Asia and the Turkic-speaking countries. Since ancient times, people mark the arrival of the new day and new year. And when a new day begins, signifying the spring equinox, Kazakhs tell each other that spring has come, winter has ended, nature wakes up from winter slumber, and the sheep are lambing. Also in the western part of our country, Kazakhs have a custom, a good tradition called kurusu. Since Kazakhs have cattle, when they meet, they ask about their cattle, how they survive the winter, about their health. <laughs> Then the celebration begins and we celebrate our new year in a large scale. I have been in many countries. Many Turkic people, such as Kyrgyz people, Uzbeks and Turkish brothers, they celebrate this holiday. This is the beginning of a new life. People cook dishes from sorum meat, wishing each other good wishes for the best future, fruitful harvest and strong health. The beginning of a new life means that after the arrival of spring, the farmers start to cultivate the land, water and graze cattle. People believed the more generous the celebration of Nauris was, the happier the year would be. Therefore, there are so many rituals and festivities related to this holiday. Therefore, before they lay the feast table, they bless each other, gather together, and then eat and drink, sharing their feasts, and then sing songs. A song about Nauris has become well known not only in our country, but also in Central Asia. It turned into the anthem of Nauris holiday. Please tell us how it appeared, the history of the song. Once I was reading the book by Mukhali Makataev, there was the poem, the song about Nauris. When I read it, an idea came to me to write a song featuring these verses. Just when our country started to mark this holiday officially, at the state level, I went to the composer Talhat Sarabayev and presented these verses to the song. 
I propose to write song lyrics in the style of the American singer Whitney Houston with drum beats. Talhat and Tasqan reworked this song, and it was warmly welcomed by the audience and immediately became a symbol of this wonderful holiday. Yes, I remember that moment. Because a correctly written song has its own form, tradition, style, and mission. The main thing is to have a purpose. The purpose is to deliver this happiness. Yes, you are right. Tuscan added some features of the Kishernias. The sounds of the stomping of herds of horses, the muttering of sheep, lambs, yurts, and galloping of our horsemen. Men play Kokpar game. Yes, men are engaged in Kokpar and Kisku equestrian games. Q is the best way to describe these features. This Q really suits the song. When did it happen? This song was released in 1989, back in 1989. The song is 31 years old, yes. Then the first verse was written, followed by the chorus, the second verse, and another chorus. Then Tuscan added the Q Sharnias, involving the Moragir ensemble. Also talented Dombra player Aigul Olkinbayeva made a large contribution to the song. This is not just an ordinary song, it's a musical composition. It's a composition, yes. There are a lot of songs about Nauris. Some songs are different in their styles. I have one more song by Talhat Sarabayev called Nauris Aya. It features lyrics by Jaras Khan Abdrash. This is a romantic song written in a completely different style. Meanwhile, the other song is designed for grandiose celebrations and festivals. Did it encourage you? Yes, it can be performed in large stadiums and venues. It can be even accompanied by a hundred dancers on the stage, the song that conveys a specific purpose. For more than 30 years, Kazakh people start the celebration of Nauru's holiday with the song Nauru's Mirama. You know that a good song never dies and is not forgotten. There are so many wonderful folk songs, there are so many songs of our wonderful composers. How many years go by, but people listen to their favorite songs. A wonderful song that touches the hearts of people is never forgotten. On the eve of Nauru's holiday, there is a such a tradition called Nauru's Tilek. Now we want to ask you, Rosa Juanish Khazar, to say a few kind words to the people of Kazakhstan, the viewers of Kazakh Live Duster program. May everything go well and may the sky be clear. Amen. May everyone be safe and healthy. May our country only flourish year after year. May there be peace in the whole world, unity and abundance to everyone among the Kazakhs. Kazakh people have the round duster hunt, and representatives of all people celebrate our common holiday with us at this generous duster hunt. We all meet spring renewal. We celebrate the coming of a new year. We meet a new life and new day. Therefore, this holiday is common for us. I want people to meet and celebrate only good occasions. May our country, our land prosper. May everyone be healthy. Let's live and teach our young generation to be kind and smart. Dear viewers, I congratulate you on Nauris. Cooking Nauris Kujé is one of the integral part of Nauris holiday. Kujé is prepared from seven different products – wheat, millet, rice, meat, salt, milk, and water. In addition, such delicacies as kazı, shajuk, and smoked meat that were saved over from the winter are added into Kujé. After the meat is cooked, crops are added there. When the soup is ready, kefir and curd are added at the end. Kujige, Ayran, Min, Kurt, Koslade. 
Kuji. The soup is ready. Let's try it. We are celebrating the holiday of Nauris in our studio. That is, we lay Dustar Han in the studio of the Kazakh Life Disturb program and continue our celebration. We are grateful to you, Karlgash Nogoman Khaza, for such a generous treat, Nauris Kuje, which was specially prepared for our holiday. Let's try your Kuje, but first, let's ask for blessings from the elders. <laughs> Он болсын, ақ мол болсын, қайда барсам жол болсын, олыс береке берсін, бәле жала жерге енсін, олы қалқым тоқ болсын, көлектері көк болсын, қуаныштар көп болсын. Аумен! Thank you very much. Now help yourself. Let's continue our conversation. Гүлшат, please, would be kind to tell us about Nauris Kujе in detail. Kazakhs also call Nauris Kujie as Teleo Kujie because they say that it's better to have as much blessings as we can. The soup was prepared from different ingredients and the most important thing, it was prepared in one common cauldron. The soup was poured into one large bowl from which everyone was treated. As people tried Kujie, they expressed their blessings and wishes because people who tried it believed in good and hoped for a prosperous future. So Kujie was called Teleo Kujie. So let your wishes come true. Gushat, who was the first to be treated with Nauris Kujie? First, elderly people were treated with Kujie. You treat elders. Let your wishes come true. Enjoy your meal and help yourself. Kazakhs have a saying, people will be fed when the land is fed, because the Leo Kujie is prepared from the first grains. It turns out that soup prepared from cereals is poured into a small bowl and a fruitful tree is watered with the soup. By this, people believed that the soil gave us grain, and we too must be grateful to the lands. Water a fruitful tree and take care of it. May the wishes come true. Let's continue our conversation. Happy holiday. Let everything go well. May there always be abundance. Today is the day when our wishes come true. It is the day of spring equinox. Let's treat ourselves with a soup, which was specially prepared for this duster hunt. Wishing every family prosperity, peace, and good. This is wonderful, thanks. With a blessing, we will try these dishes. If on Nauris the cauldron is full of meal, then the whole year will be abundant and fruitful. May our road be open and the Dastarhan full. Help yourself. Now, where's is the beginning of the year, a holiday of spring, a holiday of abundance of nature. Let us meet the coming of Nauris every year alive and healthy. You watch the program Kazakh Live Duster with Tamara Sar. Happy New Year and see you next time.